One soldier calls it the coolest weapon he's ever fired. The XM-25 is still a few years away from being sent into war, but here at the Army's test center in Aberdeen, Maryland, it's already being hailed as a big advance. Smart technology in a soldier's hands. Uh, that means we're putting computer chips into his rounds. We're uh, uh, having a fire control, an integrated fire control on top of his weapon that actually talks around and, and tells around essentially where to go, where to explode. Especially useful in Afghanistan, with enemies hiding in buildings or lurking behind trees and hills and other cover. Goes over the cover and explodes on the, on the opposite side, taking out the enemy. All the soldier has to do is hit a few buttons, make a few adjustments, and the warheads are on their way. You see that, that red dot? Right. Put that. The targeting's easy, even for an amateur. Okay, you ready? Yeah, it's ready. And here we go. Got it. Did you hear the click? I heard the click. It went through the window. I could feel it come back and pop me in the face, too. One of the key parts of this weapon is that the shot doesn't actually need to hit the air. The army refers to it as high explosive air burst. It's kind of like a grenade. As long as you get it in the general vicinity of the target, the resulting fragmentation will do the trick. The XM-25 was just one of many weapons the Army showed off to reporters Wednesday, including an M107 sniper rifle, an M240 machine gun for a two-man crew, and the system called Crows, mounted atop an armored vehicle, which allows a soldier to fire while sitting inside, out of danger. It's uh, quite an amazing, impressive system, and it has been saving soldiers' lives constantly in Iraq and Afghanistan. Sagar Megani, The Associated Press, Aberdeen, Maryland.